Hi everyone, Flick here from Sleek and today I am bringing you a mini ballet bar. We have got less than 20 minutes to fit in everything that professional dancer would do as they hit the bar. So plies, tondus, glissades, intermittent stretching, rond de jambes, fondues and grand batmans to finish. That sounds like a lot and if it sounds like a lot of jargon, don't worry, if you're new to ballet or new to sleek, follow along. I will be demonstrating everything as I go. Try and follow along my technique and alignment. Use your pause button, use your rewind button if you need to. Those of you that have done sleek before and you're familiar with ballet, then this is a great all-encompassing full body workout. Everybody, the focus is mainly on the lower body. We'll also get work into our core and of course our upper body will be included as well. But remember, you can keep it, modify it to what suits your level. So if you haven't got a bar like this, just grab a chair. You can even use a wall, although if you can use a chair, let's get going. Starting facing your bar in sixth position. Heels together, ankles together, light touch. We're gonna pulse it out three sets of eight, squeezing down. Long spine, tailbone points between your heels. Second set goes eight, seven, six, five. Draw the tummy in. We're gonna take one more set of pulses. Knees in line with our two middle toes. This is four, three, two. Now let's roll through those feet, so hold your demi plie. Lift your heels, strong ankles. Draw the kneecaps up, lift up and out of your waist. Let's do it all again. We pulse, two, three. Four. Remember that long spine. Your neck, your head sit beautifully atop that spine, that back. There's no arch, there's no curve. Let's do one more set. Pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now roll it up. Take your plie. Roll up this time. Turn to face me. Open out into first position. We're going to take a slow demi plie. Draw up. Now, can you back montondu right out in front of your nose? Let's do this all the way around. So, an encore to the side now. Work through the foot. Lift up from your waist. Brush. Lift to the back. One more set. We're going to speed this up. And you have options, remember, to leave the arm down. And we're going to make the tondu a glisse. So, we plie and brush. So working that arm just too, too height or too bra bar or on your waist. Good, last one. Good, close it here. Roll through your feet now in rotation, turn out. Lift up, now you can repeat that or you're gonna find a full plie. Halfway down, full plie. Press back up, we're moving on to back one tendus to the side. Take it out and in. Now try and hold this side arm. Lift your upper arm. Slide the foot and in. Four, three. Again, we're going to speed this up. Options add your arm. Take the leg off the floor. Make it into a back one glisse. Five, six, seven. One more set. Can you cross? Squeezing third to fifth. Four more for four. Three, two, one. Close into first position. Pour de bras forward. Roll all the way up. Draw your tummy in. No swinging back out of those hips. Lift up out of your waist. And combre. No dumping into those hips. Open the arm to second. Pour de bras up and over. Draw everything back up. Finish bra bar. Eight counts to change sides. Move your chairs or bars. We're going straight into our plies. Find your first position. Holding, shoulders wide, tummy drawn in. Slow plie to start. Are you ready? Here we go. Demi draws you up. Slide the toes. Close to first. Good. Smooth, fluid. Trying not to dip if we are using the breathing arm to too height. So not this, not dipping towards that leg. Keeping upright, that will tend to derriere. And again, we're going to speed this up. Here we go, ladies. Everyone, brush. Options, leave the arm. Or we plie, make it a glisse. Brush light and close. Really sparkly toes. 
the shiniest nail polish on the end of your leg. Brush and back. Good. Brush and back. Take a demi plie. Roll through your feet. Options this time if you lift the arm to fifth. And now grand plie or of course repeat that. We're going to take that back one tendu to the side and really squeeze into our inside thighs. Hold the arm out and in. Two. You want to feel that that heel is coming forward towards me. We're not going to shift in our hips or in our waist. And if you wish now, we're going to take this a little quicker and off the floor. We go eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Again, options. You can hold that arm or you can quarter bra. Following the gaze of the middle finger. One more set. Can you cross for eight, seven, six, five? Four, three, two, one. Close into first. Lift up out of your waist. Pour the bra forward. Lengthen over. Roll up. Now see if you can stack one vertebra on top of the other. Relax your bar arm. Lift up out of your waist. Slide along the ceiling. Open the arm to second. And as you do, zip that rib cage back in. Tailbone down. Pour the bra all the way over. Draw back. Release. Let's move to our first side again. Eight counts. Ready to take some transfers through fourth. Arm is held in second. We go out, plie, lift, close. Same leg back. Good. Now carry away from the bar. Round those arms. Getting used to not gripping onto the spine. Let's do all of this again. You have an option to add the arm to fifth. You don't have to, you can leave the arm in second. And then hold here, or two arms. Come up right. Well done. Let's ronde jambe. Take the leg front, take it side. Now pivot towards you are, your bar even to the back. Slide the leg away, plant your back heel, and a big juicy combo. Transfer your weight forward, pivot back to me and then close into your first position. We're gonna take all of that movement, the first and second half, but stay front onto me as we rond jambe. Here we go. We move front, side. So stay facing me, but there's your back movement. And close, let's do one more this speed. Front, side, to the back, and close. A little bit quicker. We go front, side, back, Close three more, front, side, back, close two more to go. Good, lift through the elbow, no shimming through those hips. Let's reverse it all slowly, we go back. This is rond de jambe, a big movement of the leg, closing first. So really shapes and tones the top of the leg into the glutes. One more slow, and let's move a little quicker. We go one, hold that arm, it should ache. If not, are you really lifting up through that upper arm, sliding the lat down? Two more rond de jambe back. Side, relax the grip on the bar, no tension. Well done. Take a plie, slide up, lift those toes, press to the back of the knee. And then other arm off front of the knee, rather. Open the knee back and press to the front of the knee. Open, release. Well done. Second side, eight counts to change. Ready to take our transfers. Here we go. You can choose to keep the legs in first, or maybe when you repeat this workout, you'll start to work to a fifth. So I'm showing you fifth on this second side, but remember you can always close back into first. Options, add your arm. Options. If you wished, you could close into your fifth position, squeezing deeper into the inside thighs. Well done. Here we go. Now take the leg front, take it side. Now you pivot and you slide back into a classical lunge. Here's your combray. Pull your tummy in, open up through the chest. Now let's reverse that movement. Tummy in, lifting up. Turn to face me. Let's draw the leg to the front. And let's make this shape fully now. Front, carry side, K, 
carry back, relax the shoulder, relax the bar up. One more slow. Front, watch this elbow, remember. Is the back working? Give me four more, here we go. Quicker speed. Front, side without adjusting anything in the body. Three. Two to go, two. Last one. So this is on de or outwards. Now let's switch up and go on to on de don. Carry to the side, still making the same D, same D shape. Relax your toes in first. Back, carry side, tuck this thumb away and relax your head a little quicker. Back, side, front. Back, side, front. Two more. Getting better, getting stronger every time. Close, last one. Well done. Little plie, draw up. Again, toes to the front of the knee. Drop this hip. Take a balance. Pull your tummy in. Open out. Little release, shake off. Back to our first side, eight counts. Can we all start in a third or fifth position with our hand on our waist? We're going to take a back on fondue. Make a diamond shape and extend. Lengthen the toes to the floor, same thing. Making a diamond shape simultaneously, bending and straightening through those legs. Fondue means to melt, so we're not jerking. Really pressing this knee back, extend. One more to the side, and then you have options. You can repeat this, you can speed up, or you can speed up with me and add the pour de bras. Here we go. We take a fondue off the floor a little quicker. You always have options. Work to what's good for you. I'm going to just pivot here so I don't hit my back wall and draw back in. Well done. Brush the toe. Take hold, quarter turn. Squeeze your heel to your opposite glute. Press your knees down, lift up out of your waist. Options extending through the arm or leaving the arm on the bar. Heel comes forward, plant your back foot. Pull the right look over towards your heel, lift up out of your waist. Little top of your back pull de bra, brush the leg through, close into first, and let's change sides. Eight counts. Again, light grip on the bar. Heart rate should be lifted. I hope you can hear mine. Finding that fifth position, everybody hand to your waist, so we're getting really good alignment, making diamond shape. We're slow. You're peeling the foot off like you're licking an ice cream. So imagine your foot is the tongue. Draw the knee back. Diamond shape. Keep that diamond shape, just extend through the legs. Twice more, in. Just a small pivot for me so you can see the back leg lift up. One more and again. Now you can stay with that foot on the floor or you can come with me, add the arm and speed up as well, your choice. In and front. Good, in, keeping the shoulders stacked over your hips. Keeping the tummy drawn in. Hand back. Whoop. In to the side. Well done. Brush those toes. Take hold. Heel to opposite glute options. Hand to the waist. Hand extends. Hand on the bar. The most important thing is we zip up through our centre. Our rib cage is pulled together. The knee draws back in line with your supporting leg. Hand to your waist. Heels forward. Put a run to a side bend. Look down past your elbow towards your back heel. Beautiful. Lift up. Brush the foot forward. Close into our first position. Ladies, we're already on to our last exercise. Let's change back to our first side. Grand Batman, a big dynamic movement. We'll start with a tendu, then take the leg up to a Grand Batman. Here we go. Tendu. Close to fifth. Grand Batman. One. And close. Two and close to the side, tendu. Now change the leg, close it behind, two grand batman, one, and close. Now face your bar, here we go. We take tendu, and close, lift up, two grand batman, arabesque, derriere. Good, and a big chasse back, and a second cobra goes deeper, and this time as you transfer forward, lift your toes up, find your arabesque, press your elbows into your ribcage, stretch the leg back, Lower your toe, step back to that toe, lengthen out the spine. 
press your palms down against your chair or bar and then draw your tummy in to contract and release. Bend your knees a little if you need to. Hands down, roll up. Stacking your vertebra one at a time. Shoulders release down your back. Well done. Same thing on the second side. Grand batman. Big dynamic movement. One tendu, two grand batman. Finding your fifth or working from third, your choice, or first rather. Here we go, in front of your nose, out. Close, two grand batman. Brush, pull up the supporting leg. To the side. Out to ala seco, now you're in a toaster, nothing wobbles. Heel forward. Face your bar and back. Close, two grand batman. Back, pull up the knee. And chasse back, deeper combo. Now your biggest one, lengthen out through the abdominals. Transfer forward through that fourth and lift your back toes up. Breathe. Can you draw your back up a little more? Lower your toe, step back and reach. Lengthening out the spine. Heart rate settles, draw your tummy in, look past your thighs and bend your knees, release over. Roll all the way up. Lift your shoulders to your ears. It's time to cool down, stretch out, because we've already done that main bar work. Express in D, draw the toes up. Now guide your leg if you need to, facing your bar, quarter turn. Pour de bras comes up and over. And again, pour de bras comes up and over. Walk down your leg. Allow your nose one day to touch your shin, that's what we're aiming for. Your chest, your rib cage along your thigh. If you need a little cushion under your ankle, that's fine. Breathe. One last challenge, lift all the way up. Lift your leg off, plant it into the mat, lower your back foot, sweep. Circular port de bras, taking in every inch of our body, working our legs, working our muscular corset. Draw a big circle shape with your body. Transfer your weight and squeeze. This time, can we find a demi-point balance? Arms low or arms high, your choice. Breathe, don't worry if you need your bar. If you need to keep returning to it, it's fine. Options. Fly and squeeze down, good. Let's do that last bit on our first side. Our second side, actually. Okay, so facing your bar. Let's stretch, draw the toes up. This is developer to unfold. So you're unfolding your leg onto your chair or bar. Don't worry if you need to help it. Pour de bras comes over. Square your body. Second side, up and over. Lie along that leg. Again, one day your nose may touch your shin. Breathe in and as you breathe out, that's where we extend. Lengthen out those muscle fibers. Well done, walking all the way back up. Hopefully feeling that heart rate starting to settle now. Last bit of core work, tummy in. Can you lift the leg just for a split second before it lowers to the floor? Plant your back leg wide now and let's circle. Circular port de bras. Port de bras, carriage of the arms. But we really are working right down into our core as well. Well done, transfer forward. Closing, pick up your toes. Options. Stay on a flat. Options, leave the hand on the bar. Options, fly. And release. Well done. Everybody step to the side, find your reverence. Well done everybody and I hope you enjoyed sharing that mini ballet classical bar with me. Everything fitted in, it might seem like it's a lot but if you keep practicing this will be a perfect way to start your day and you can do this three to five times a week and of course if you're short on time it's even better. If you have enjoyed watching it please click like and subscribe to our channel where we have lots more workouts. Head on over to our site sleeptechnique.com where we have an awful lot more workouts for you to, for you to enjoy. And get on with the rest of your day and have a good one. See you soon.